Hello guys, it's Chris from thedaxtrader.co.uk and this is a full instructional tutorial for how to get the trade notification script installed on MetaTrader 4. So whether you're a signal provider or a trader, after this and following the instructions, it will be working perfectly for you. So open up your MetaTrader 4 platform and make sure that you can see the navigator window with your expert advisors shown over here. Open up a chart, any chart that you like, and set it up the way that you want to see it. And let's get started. So the files that you should have will be either, <coughs> excuse me, the full code version, which will include the MQL source file, or the regular version, which will just have the uh, compiled version of the code. <coughs> I'll assume that you've got the full version but the instructions are the same for either or. So we'll select the files, we'll copy them, and we'll go and paste them into MetaTrader by clicking on File, Open Data Folder, go into MQL4, go into Experts, paste them into that file. Okay, all done. Close that window. Click on any expert advisor in the list on your MetaTrader 4 platform. Right click refresh and there is your notification. Okay. If we try to use that now, it won't work because there are some pieces of information that we need to go and get first. We need to create a new bot. We need to create a Telegram chat and then we need to go and connect those two together to get the information that we need. So let's get started. Open up Telegram Messenger. I've downloaded the desktop version. I recommend you do the same. And we'll go to the menu and we'll click New Channel. Now I'm going to call the channel name Signals. How original. You can enter any information that you like in your description of this channel. And you can enter any picture that you like here. And then create the channel. Maybe call it something other than signals. Call it what you like. You can choose whether you want it to be a public or a private channel. You can use a public channel if you like, but it's not very secure. So we're going to use a private channel, save that. It will ask you to enter members, but I'm just going to skip that for now. If you want to add people to this, then up here you'll see the three dots. Click that. We can go to view channel info or manage channel is probably better. Or maybe the channel info is better. Uh, but members, and you can add users here. Or... In channel info you can click that link and then paste it to whoever needs it okay next thing we need to do let's go and add the bot so in the search we will search for bot father and click on it it'll bring up this message once we've read that we can click on start uh, these are all the bits of information you can learn about if you want to but I'm not going to worry about any of that I'm just going to click on new bot and at the bottom it's interactive it wants some information so what are we going to call the new bot what well, we're going to call it trading signals and now we need to give it a username it needs to be unique so call it whatever you like but at the end of that uh, you need to put the word bot bot So I'm going to call it trade signals one two three bot okay it seems to accept that and it's created the link for trade signals one two three bot okay now it's given us this piece of information which we need so I'm going to copy that there are two pieces or two places that I need to put that 
the first place I need to put that is in here okay so back in your MetaTrader settings uh, when then you click and drag this onto your chart it will give you this and I need to paste that information in here okay make sure that it was empty before you do it so for example if I just cancel this and remove it oh it's already removed uh, click and drag back onto when you double click on it it does highlight it you can just delete it and then paste the information on okay all right let's go back to telegram because what we now need to do is add our trade signals bot so I'm going to copy that bit of information there that we just named it as trade signals bot and in the search file let's just press this cross let's go into our channel let's add a member so I just clicked on signals here and then click on the plus here and I'm just gonna paste the name of our bot in here there it is so I'm gonna invite our bot <coughs> to enter the channel it says bots can only be added as administrators well let's do that then and I'll leave that all the same and that's it we now have two members me and the bot okay so that is done let's just send it a quick message literally and now what we need to do is go back and get this bit of information here and open up a browser window okay and I'm just gonna paste that in there for the moment just to keep it there because now there's another piece of information we need to copy and paste in order to get our chat ID and the information that we need is this bit here let me just bring it over and I'm going to paste it in here it's a link that we need to edit a little bit of and you see all these X's in here I'm going to remove those and we're going to paste that into this link right there right next to the bot okay and if we search for that excellent it gives us some of the code so now what we need to do is go back into our channel send it one more message it can be anything you like and then go back to the browser click on the link press return and it will give you that information what we need is that it's the ID so we'll just select that and copy it and now go back to MetaTrader click on the chat ID paste it in there so we've created a bot we've done a few things we've connected everything together now we need to see whether it works so let's just delete these two messages here we don't need them and let's test this so we'll go into MetaTrader I'm logged into a real account and I'm going to open up a real trade but rather than it actually open up a trade I'm going to do a pending order because it's just it saves the account in case you have a fast move and we'll go with a uh, a buy limit order at say 10.950 with a stop loss of 10.9 and a take profit target of 11,200. Okay, so that's the order. Once we press place, it should send it to Telegram. And there it is. That information was a buy limit on the German DAX at price 10.950 and so on and so on. So that's that done. If we right click, delete that. There it is again. Pending order closed. Let's try it on a different example. Let's try it with gold. 
Let's say we want to sell this at 1320. We'll open up a new trade. Sell limit 1320. Now it doesn't have to be a limit order. This can be a market order as well. You know, as in selling it at current price. And it will still work. Uh, so what are we going to do? 1320. So sell limit at 1320. Stop loss at 1325. And we're going to take profit at 1295 or whatever. Place that. There it is. And that's way up there. So let's delete that. And there it is. So it works easily. It sends the information immediately. It takes about 10 minutes or so to do that. In fact, the recording has been live for about 10 minutes and 11 minutes now. Uh, and we've gone through all of the steps. So you might have to pause and do a few things here and there, but it shouldn't take much longer than 20 minutes or so to complete. And once it's installed, you're good to go. Now I recommend getting that installed on a server rather than on a desktop computer in your home office, uh, because on a server it will run 24 hours a day. And then if you log into your phone or iPad or another computer and make a trade, then it will be sharing that information with your server as well and it will still activate all of your sending of this data to telegram from the server instead of your computer so it's just an easy way to allow you to continue to send signals out regardless of whether you're trading from your phone or you know another computer just make sure you're sharing the same trading account and that is it so i wish you the best of luck with the software i hope it provides you with some excellent notifications of your trades and that you'll be able to share those over to your subscribers as well and if you have any issues then send us an email and i'll see what we can do all right guys take care and see you soon